Hello, and thanks for joining us for PC Talk. I'm Marian Mueller, and joining us today is Jacob Passmore, a senior here at Piedmont College. Jacob is here to tell us about Piedmont College's very own improv troupe, Sticks and Giggles. Thank you for joining us, Jacob. Thank you for having me. So, um, if we'd like to start off with you telling us a little bit about yourself and your um, experience here at Piedmont College. I am a senior double major in technical design and performing or theater arts. Awesome. And so, um, for those who don't know, can you elaborate more on what improv is and what an improv troupe does? Okay. So, improv is improv being short for the word improvisation. <laughs> that was a hard word. Uh, basically, it's a form of most times sketch comedy where uh, you'll do a scene based around the suggestion that the audience gives you, and you just perform, uh, usually doing wordplay or some form of association to make it funny. So it's kind of on the fly. Yes, everything should be completely made up. Awesome. Um, and what our improv troupe does sometimes is uh, we actually do a lot of charity shows. Um, we uh, bring in the community and a lot of uh, faculty members and students here. Uh, it's a pay what you can event, and we donate it to whatever charity we find uh, that we like. That's really great. So it's involved in the community as yes. well. So because it's all on the fly, uh, how do you go about rehearsing for improv? Uh, our troupe specifically takes about an hour every week. Um, when you get together, we the leader usually has a list of games that he likes to play or rehearse, uh, and which we bring together and play in the next actual game session. Awesome. Uh, show. And I think we have some video footage of a rehearsal of Sticks and Giggles as well as a few words from troop leader Brandon Dean. Let's take a look. Improv started about eight years ago um, between two women named Britt Hensley and Amy Maston. Uh, both have graduated and both actually work in theater education. Um, it was created just as a fun project outside of the main stage shows and the black box shows that we perform here. The troupe this year is fairly young but we have several strong people on the troupe and people that are good at very different games. Everybody brings their own special quality to the troupe. Um, and I, I think it's, it's very diverse and everyone has their own sense of humor and um, I, really, I really like it. They make, they make lots, of, lots of choices during the show. Um, I, I uh, am really excited about the rest of the semester. We have a charity show March 11th, Tuesday, 6.30 in our main stage theater at the Swanson Center. Um, we're probably also going to do a grill show. We'll have dates on our Facebook page soon about that, so be looking for that. So be sure you're looking out on Facebook for Six and Giggles Facebook page for updates on when they're going to perform. Now, back to you, Jacob. How long have you yourself been on the improv troupe here? As of this year, going on three years. And what has your experience been like on the troupe? Ooh, it's been kind of rough and tumble. Uh, just overall performance itself, you know, you have good shows and you have bad shows, as in any performing. Um, overall fun. Uh, there's not much experience like getting up in front of a group of strangers and not knowing what you're fixing to do next. Did you do any improv before you joined Sticks and Giggles? No, actually. Uh, my sophomore year was the first time I had ever even seen an improv troupe. Uh, and I decided that's fun, so I'm going to join it. Was it like a hard learning process, or did you kind of catch on? Um, I kind of caught on. Uh, when I first joined the troupe, it was one of those things where I noticed uh, I go blank when I'm on stage in front of a whole bunch of people. Right. Uh, so that was something I had to work through uh, kind of heavily. So what do you think about the troupe this year as opposed to years in the past? How is it different? How is it better? How is it worse? Uh, Dynamic-wise, it's probably one of the strongest groups I've ever seen here at Piedmont. Um, a lot of different takes on things, a lot of people bringing different uh, ideas and different forms of comedy to it. Um, and it, in the past, it's been very straightforward, kind of uh, normal improv, I would say, where here we have a lot of different uh, play styles that we get to experience. One last question for you. Do you continue to do improv after you graduate? Maybe. Uh, I'm not that funny, so I doubt it. <laughs> but uh, if given the opportunity, I would actually pursue it. It's definitely something fun and something very uh, cathartic about it. Well, that's awesome. Really, thank you for joining us today and telling us about um, Schicks and Googles. And thank you for watching Piedmont Talk. My name is Mary Mueller, and that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on PC Talk.